In this difficult past year, we've lost so many treasured members of our community, including the venerable Rabbi Jonathan Sachs. But one of the losses I felt most personally was the untimely passing in June of my good friend, Ilya Salita. Ilya, who headed the Genesis Philanthropy Group, was a beloved friend and a supporter of JFN. He was always ready and eager to help, always advocating for us and always an example of the type of philanthropy we promote, strategic, kind, menschy, and collaborative. Community was Ilya's life's work. He wanted everybody to discover what he had discovered, that there is joy and depth in being Jewish. Even if, like him, you grew up far away from our tradition. That enthusiasm animated his work at the helm of the Genesis Philanthropy Group, which became, under his leadership, a strong force for good in the world. In his work, he married the rigor of the engineer with the passion of the activist, and he covered all with a layer of kindness and good humor. In honor of Ilya, we have established a new award. For more on Ilya and this important new prize, I turn it over to Marina Yudvorovsky, Ilya's protege and successor at Genesis. Thank you, Andres. I was extremely lucky to work with Ilya for over a decade. He was one of those rare people who understood the details just as well as he saw the big picture. And he was as interested in the data as he was in the conclusions. Under his leadership, GPG supported many research initiatives done by our partners. But we also introduced an internal data gathering process that is now the keystone of our grant making. The year we launched this internal process, he and I spent days in the office tabulating the results by hand. When we were finally done, Ilya said, you know, actually, this was fun, but we are never doing it like this again. And we didn't. The process improved, the data it generated did too, and he took great pride in our efforts to bring the tools of scientific analysis, both qualitative and quantitative, to our work. I know he would be proud to have a hand in continuing to help the Jewish community make decisions armed with more information and to help reward as well as incentivize the work of researchers in this space. And so today, I am honored to announce the establishment of the Ilya Salida Excellence in Research Award, a cash prize to be presented to a work of applied research focused on the Jewish community. Ilya believed in the power of philanthropy, and he pushed all of us to be both rigorous and empathetic in our practice of it. In this way, he combined his education and experience in the hard sciences with his passion for this tribe. We hope this award inspires a wealth of excellent research, giving practitioners and philanthropists the tools they need to develop and invest in the most effective and impactful programs. We'll be sharing more information about the award and how to submit nominations in the coming months. But right now, it is my pleasure to introduce one of Ilya's greatest joys, his eldest son, Josh Salida. Thank you so much, Marina. I am so grateful to you for continuing my father's work and for ensuring that his legacy is not forgotten. Growing up, my dad placed a huge importance on travel and him and my mom took any available opportunity to show us as many different parts of the world as they were able to. Now, as we are all constrained to our general cities and towns and local areas, I remember many of our trips very fondly. And one of the things that was a constant across all of those trips was a guaranteed conversation about the local Jewish community. My dad absolutely loved learning. And even more than that, he loved sharing this learning with the people that he loved. He always knew so many details and always made sure to share the stats and identify them. How many Jews lived in there compared to other parts of the world, when the first part of the community immigrated there, how many synagogues there were, and so many other details. He took a similar approach to pretty much any topic or question he was confronted with. Our friends knew him as the person who they could come to with any question, and it was almost guaranteed that he would have an answer. He placed great emphasis on being armed with information and using that information to make the best and most appropriate decision. When a question would come up of which car to buy, 
our friends would call my dad. When a question came up of which area to best book a hotel or which book to read next, our friends would call my dad. This became so prevalent at a certain point in our life that a special hotline was actually invented, 1-800-SALITA. And any suggestion coming out of that hotline would also get the official Salita guarantee. And everyone knew that it was extremely reliable and extremely informed. He treated everything in life this way. Collect information, analyze it, and then make a decision. He spoke with me often about how important it was to him to drive an impact and to do so in a way that would most positively benefit the most number of people. He always thought that the data-driven research and informed decisions was one of the best ways to accomplish this goal. So I'm extremely excited that this award places focus on that. I know he would be so proud and so humble that two organizations so close to his heart are working together to launch this award and honor his, uh, his memory. I'm so pleased that this prize will further his passion for learning and for thoughtful philanthropy, based not just on altruism, but on facts and on evidence.